Delicious tag management. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, so Delicious is a really cool service for social bookmarking and I use it a lot. But it has some limitations in its tag management. So I wrote a bunch of scripts that would allow me to uh, extend this tag management. So one of the scripts I have written here is to consolidate Delicious tags. So Delicious, you can just tag with anything. So you could have tagged some posts with movies and some others with movie. And later on if you search for one, you won't find the others. So this consolidate tags allows you to consolidate these tags into a single tag. No Man's Land. Uh, hi, hi everybody. Uh, we are No Man's Land. Now uh, we started with the fun. You know, hacking is all about fun. So we had some experience in Java, JavaScript and all. So let's start have fun. Let's do some brave work. We started learning some new language yesterday, Ruby. And for uh, making it more interesting, we thought, okay, right now, let's use Ruby on Rails framework and write some cool uh, Yahoo service API, use some cool Yahoo service APIs and write some application that really helps. Uh, this is called No Man's Land. Why No Man's Land? We have a lot of people moving in from different cities, coming in without knowing culture, the language, and facing a lot of problems. So we started without knowing much of the programming language and having confidence in Yahoo service APIs. We developed a small cool application called No Man's Land. What is this? I log in. I'm a new to the city of Bangalore. So this is my region, MG Road Bangalore. I belong to this region. So we use the mashup of India Times, movie releases, upcoming movie releases, merged with YouTube to get some new trailers of the movies. What's happening in the new? We got the upcoming, upcoming, subscribe the upcoming, got the recent news, what is happening, the events which is happening. Also, to keep up with the culture of the city, let's use some Flickr. We have the Bangalore's photographs or any other city if you want to go from here. Okay, and also, of course, the, Google, the search, search APIs, search, the map APIs are available to us, searching everywhere. What do we want to search? And it will actually the, uh, hack the Yahoo search engine to get the very specific detail from the Yahoo. Like, suppose I uh, uh, do a quote Yahoo, it will just. Uh, can you think? Sorry. How big can you think? Yeah. Uh, hi everybody, this is my, um, this is actually a very kiddie application, this is my first application with Yahoo. Actually I like uh, Windows Messenger Alert which is a bit, bit bigger than the Yahoo, so I tried to mimic that with Yahoo. I nothing get uh, great like this buggers. So whenever any contact uh, comes online, it will pop up with an alert which is not like this. Uh, picture setup, it will uh, come up with the picture user has selected. Uh, say, I have uh, click on the Shamshir Singh and uh, it doesn't show. Number 13, Daily Profit. Needless to say, I take my inspiration from Harry Potter. Well, the first thing that comes to mind when I think about Harry Potter is the Daily Profit. It's a newspaper where you have not just the news, it's, it's, it's extremely attractive. Like, the one thing that I can never forget is so we just like and these uh, are laid out in a nice card format over here and uh, along with that we also get the YouTube output for the corresponding tag so a person who searches for, uh, for any particular news tag he not only goes through the data he also goes through multimedia content like video Visualize. take it away hi guys um, what we have built is called visualizer what it simply does is, you know, uh, turns any text-based content into a pictorial story. So you can add pictures to story and uh, it can be a rich user experience. So for example, you know, uh, the very first one we have is the life of Vijay Malya. So reading just text may seem boring. So what we do is... is third tag. I made a widget, a widget to tag your local files because why don't you want to track your local files? So I just drag it here. You can either uh, enter your own tags or pick tags which use the Yahoo Extraction API. Yeah, you. healer. Do you, can you hear that? I won't. Okay. Um, the pictures that you're seeing on the screen are probably pictures, brain scans of a nine-year-old girl living somewhere in India who does not have access to the best of doctors. The general physician living in her area is not very good at analyzing MRI scans. 
Now, we talk about uh, user-generated content, we write, you know, Wikipedia's, encyclopedias using social connectedness. Why can't doctors connect themselves socially? So we wrote this application, which is entirely based on the Yahoo widget platform. So we're running this on the same computer, but this, this is user standard inter-process communication, so it can be run across any two computers across the globe. So we have, uh, this, this is the ROI context. What we, what we do is when doctors analyze image, the junior doctor can step frame by frame through the image and it does a real-time synchronization with the other doctor. And the person can draw ROIs on the image and say, hey, can you see the lesion? We've built in a chat feature so the doctors can talk while, while they're working on this. So Dr. A asks, can you see the lesion? As Dr. B says, yes, I can see the lesion. We've built in an undo structure, which, which is probably the only application that we know of which has a bi-directional undo structure. It, it, it can synchronize the state machine bi-directionally, and it can go through all the frames in a medical image and help the doctor analyze the patient's criticality. Hi, I'm Santal here. Uh, I'm a hacker, and you can see that I'm using a VI data to do my presentation. I love desktop wallpapers, and I love the Flickr interestingness photos. I would like to have a photographic view of what's going around the world. So what I did was, I created an application which will set the desktop wallpaper of the day from the Flickr's interestingness page. Okay. Slick or not? Slick or not? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, many of us have used uh, Flickr for a long time, but we've always longed for a rating service. So we present to you the Slick or not. Uh, what it does is uh, uh, you can uh, rate photos from Flickr very easily using an Ajax interface. Let me show you how. Okay, uh, she looks good. Uh, let me try this. Okay, she's not... Uh, she's kind of hot. Okay. So you have it. Uh, I think that uh, she's, uh, she's hot and people also think that she's hot. And uh, we can have a rating service like this. Uh, if, uh, if, if you're not uh, interested in that, and you can go for uh, uh, photos which have been rated by other users. Uh, let me show you how. Uh, these are the top rated photos. And uh, people think that a woman's mugshot is somehow the top rated photo. It's a crazy world out there. And uh, we also have uh, bottom rated photos. And uh, we also have photos that can be tagged, uh, which can be rated by using tags. Uh, so it definitely has uh, all the services that are needed for a rating service and the best part is it is made by, by using Yahoo UI which you know uh, by Chris's words is, has industrial strength so you can really count on us actually. And uh, do I have more time? Yeah, yeah you can keep talking. Uh, yes. right, uh. Hey, uh, I'm Sidhu. Uh, the other person who worked on this with me, Jini, is AWOL. Uh, he couldn't make it in the evening. Uh, we basically worked on pulling stuff out of Wikipedia. Unfortunately, some of the best things in the world don't have an API, so no REST, no API, we had to scrape stuff. Uh, after that... It's great because of the resolution change. But anyway, this is basically a list of uh, changes which are happening to Wikipedia live. People who are making edits, uh, anonymous edits, we pulled out all the IPs and we're figuring out where they're from uh, and we can tell you what the articles are and I was playing around with uh, connecting this to Firefox but I didn't have the time. So that's basically it. This is, this is live, you're seeing changes being made to Wikipedia. Um, that's basically it. Yeah. Uh, excellent, take it away. Uh, hey, I'm uh, Parshuram and uh, I just came up with a small hack. So a couple of days ago, I was talking to my friends, one of my friends in uh, Yahoo, India Maps, and he was like telling me that uh, the India data is kind of like a little screwed up. I mean, there's no standardization as such. So, uh, and uh, apart from that, he was also telling me how to come down to uh, Taj. I, I'm not very familiar with Bangalore. And he was like telling me, take a left here, take a right here. Doesn't work for me. So I just came up with something like uh, this. What I do is, the way to go to Taj is, take this road here or maybe the way to go somewhere because I still don't know how to come to Taj, one of my friends dropped me. So take a road here, go this way and you get to Taj. Another alternative is, or to a stadium rather, take this road, take this road, there's a small cutting here, take this and come back. 
and I can share it with my friends this way. Draws it for me, and uh, this is like pure uh, JavaScript that I've made it in.